In Iran, new clashes today as mourners gathered to remember Neda. She was, of course, the young woman shot to death 40 days ago during the protests over the country's presidential election. And her death really became a symbol. It really became a rallying point for outcry for the opposition. CNN's senior editor of Middle East Affairs, Octavia Nasser, joins us from the newsroom to explain because really uh, Neda, uh, that story had traveled beyond Iran or really around the country, around the world. It really captured uh, the whole world. Uh, you, you remember we reported extensively on that story. And Neda became the symbol. She became the icon of that resistance, the people's resistance within Iran. Well, as you mentioned, in Shia Islam, uh, the 40th day after death is the last official day of mourning. It is a big day commemorated by prayer. Uh, people gathered uh, around her burial uh, site, including the two opposition uh, leaders, uh, Musavi and Karubi. Uh, they attempted to to go there. What happened is that police uh, pre prevented people from gathering uh, at her burial site. Uh, they dispersed the crowd uh, using uh, tear gas and uh, using also firing shots in the air. All this according to eyewitnesses uh, that were there and were able to report back either directly or indirectly via uh, social uh, networking sites. Uh, here you're looking at Karubi trying to get there uh, to the burial site, but the police, uh, the Iranian police and uh, Basij uh, militia prevented people from gathering because they were uh, concerned that, uh, that that commemoration will turn into a demonstration, will turn political, and then will turn into violence. But definitely a big day for Iran. Uh, it, it really put Iran back on the map as far as uh, that major opposition movement that took hold uh, right after the elections because the opposition felt that they were robbed of their vote. They felt that the election was rigged and they were asking for fresh elections. Of course, uh, that is not going to happen, uh, it seems like. It seems uh, like... Uh, uh, right now, uh, we're all looking at the next steps uh, for Iran. Uh, President Ahmadinejad is declared the winner of the elections. And uh, sometime in the first week in August, he will be sworn in as the uh, president of Iran mm. for a second term. And it, Octavia, if you don't mind, can you explain the cycle of mourning for us? Because we saw this during the revolution as well. Uh, after a certain number of days of mourning, there could be a little bit of a flare up in, in terms of organizing for rallies and opposition outcries. Of course, it's a major, major day. You know, the 40th, the Arba'in, uh, it's called uh, in, in Arabic and Farsi. Uh, and it is a, a tradition, you know, in, uh, in Shia Islam. Uh, the 40th day of mourning is the final day of mourning. It is uh, usually a very uh, big day because uh, usually people remember the death. So people commemorate it just as they do uh, with the same intensity sometimes uh, of the day of death itself and the day of uh, burial. This story is a little bit different because what happened with Neda, she's a 26-year-old student who happened to be uh, at the square during demonstration. She was shot uh, to death, and you may remember uh, her death was captured on a cell phone uh, a camera, and it was uploaded to the Internet, and the whole world watched as this woman uh, pronounced her last breath. Uh, later, we heard stories that she was taken to hospital, and, and she died uh, on the way to hospital. But that video that we've uh, watched and we reported on was so chilling uh, watching her last moment uh, watching her gaze basically turn from uh, the gaze of a, a, a woman who's alive uh, to a dead uh, person those moments captured the world so her death was not just a simple death of course hundreds of people died in those uh, clashes in Iran uh, some of them known uh, some of them unknown uh, many people went missing uh, families are still looking for their loved ones uh, they don't know if they're in jail or if they're dead so, so Neda is not the only person who died in those clashes, but her death, because of the way it was captured on camera and how she became the symbol of that uh, uh, movement, that opposition movement and, and the people's um, uh, actions in Iran, uh, her story is a little bit different. So today was a time for people to remember her, remember the death, remember the events uh, that followed the elections in Iran. And, and I tell you, many people were saying that this is going to be a turning uh, point, that the violence
violence will come back, that, that uh, the movement, the opposition movement will uh, restart uh, because of the 40th day commemoration. And, and that is, of course, yet to be seen. Uh, Iran just uh, uh, ended its day. So now we wait on social uh, media for video. We expect uh, some video to come out of Iran mm. because we did see and we did hear from eyewitnesses that people were filming uh, those events that we're reporting on. So we will see what tomorrow yeah. brings and if this will end up being a turning day uh, yeah. for Iran. Yeah, and it could very well be. Uh, Octavia Nasser, thanks so much for that. Thank you.